Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I have some goodness to share with you. Okay, so this is um, just a purchase, a haul that I've got from, that I got from Country Craft Creations because I had to have this and again, I don't know why, like I see this, I knew I wanted it and I didn't pre-order. I don't know what is wrong with me, but so I'm a little late to the party getting mine. But I just have to share, I'm sure you all have seen this collection, but just in case you haven't, oh, graphic 45s, let it be, I'm dying, just dying. <laughs> so I'm just gonna like quickly walk through, um, sorry about the glare on the one still in plastic, but I did get the chipboard elements here. And then I, I got the journal cards which this is what it looks like on the back. They're just so stinking cute. Let me just open up. So we can take a look at it. So you have the large ones and then this is what is on the back. And you have that. Oh, I hate the smell of new paper. <laughs> And this is nice and fresh. Oh, if you guys don't know, haven't heard me before, like I have never liked going into a bookstore, a library. Ugh. Touching the new paper right now is questionable. <laughs> but it's, it's still pretty. I love the prettiness of the paper. I just don't like the smell of new paper. These are so pretty on the back. You can ink these up, you don't have to. I probably will, and I'll probably either ink mine in black soot or maybe walnut stain, the Tim Holtz Distress Inks. And you have these here, so cute. A little beehive, oh my gosh. And if you don't wanna use all the journal cards, you can fussy cut that out. You have this one, which what are those? Are those poppies? because it can't be a sunflower. And no, I'm not, I do not have the green thumbs, so I will really know what a flower is. I have the sunflower down and that's about it. And then these look like this on the back. Just trying to go through this a little fast since I'll be posting a few different videos. I want them all to be really long. And then, I'm not opening this because there's always really, really tiny pieces in these, but this is the ephemera assortment in here. That's what that looks like. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, and before I get into the 8x8, I'll just show you um, the 12x12s that I did get, and I got it, of course, because I wanted extra stripe. But here is that side, but I did get it for the stripe side. And then I got this one for this side, which is really pretty with the bees on there. But on the other side, it does give me another option if I want some more cut aparts. So I do have that. But I just thought this was really pretty. And then I got the 12 by 12 patterns and solids. So let's just go through. You have the green with the bees. And then this beautiful green on the back side. And again, I don't know when I'm going to get to this because I'm already behind. Um, I'm about to do my um, Graphic 45 Alice project. And this is one of their stripes that they have. They just repeat it. It's kind of a wavy stripe. Love that black on the back side. Then you have this one, and then another black. You have the kind of burnt sienna color. Love this rustic red-orange color. So pretty. They have it in a lot of their collections. And again, Graphic 45 collections work back together. So always look at your total stash if you're needing more pieces. And I love this one. And this, again, is another staple of theirs trying to think I think they have it in ABC primer 
collection, but it's in like a baby blue. And then I think in one of the other collections, they have it like in a cream and black. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure if this isn't exactly the same, it's very similar, but I don't know. My gut is saying it's the same because I do love this pattern. It's just really pretty. And then you have this one in the black and gold and then gold on the back or yellow, I should say. And then the eight by eight. And okay, let me just be clear. This is just my first round of this. I am a hoarder of Graphic 45, so I will be getting more. I've just got my first initial round. I have no idea what project I'm making yet with this, but we'll just kind of flip through so you guys can see. I love the little honeycomb. And then you have that print. This is really pretty. And then there's that stripe that is a staple for them, that wavy stripe. And this honeycomb with the flowers, very pretty. I'm trying to, I'm looking at this, I'm like, why does it say, hmm? <laughs> There's buzz and then, hmm. Is that what the B sounds like? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, look at that one. See, that's that pretty little print. Love that. You guys know I'm always good for a laugh. So, you know, if you got a little chuckle out of me, <laughs> I'm sorry, but not sorry. I'm crazy. I can't help it. And I have diarrhea of the mouth. Things just come out. I forget that I'm even on video with a whole bunch of strangers. <laughs> sorry. This is what you get. But there you guys go. I just wanted to share this quick little haul from Country Craft Creations. And it is Graphic 45's Let It Be collection. So pretty. So pretty. I have that. And then here's the 12 by 12s that I got. And then all these goodies. And there's more things too that you can order. I just grabbed these really quick. And again... I don't know what project I'm going to make with this yet, and I don't know when I'll get to it, but at least I have it, and <laughs> it's in my stash. <laughs> but there you guys go. I hope that everyone is having a really good Sunday. Um, if you like this video, please give your girl a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure that you do, so that way you can see future hauls. Thanks for watching. Bye.